A rare sight on what was once one of the city's most congested streets. Over a dozen people took to King Street for a game of shinny. Now, that stunt was organized by the owners of this restaurant in protest of the King Street pilot project. Now, some say they had a clear shot at proving their point to the city, but according to one city councilor, it had the opposite effect. You can't be nice on the ice anymore, you know? We're talking to deaf ears. But do you think it's the best way to get the message across? Well, some, some of it's working, and uh, we, we'd like to see transit improve. This isn't the only transit problem. The project, which launched in the fall, prioritizes streetcars and transit riders over other vehicles and drivers between Jarvis and Bather streets. KCAT owner Al Carbone says this pilot project has turned the entertainment district into a ghost town during the day with a serious impact on local business profits. They even got an ex-NHLer to show up for the stunt. For 25 years now, I've been going to the Kit Kat for dinner uh, when I had the opportunity to play in the National Hockey League and play against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I bring my teammates to. For me, um, I just want to go support uh, Albert and John. We saw a game of impromptu street hockey in the middle of King Street. I just want to show you it right mm -hmm. here. Uh, yelling, street car. Yeah, yeah. And then moving aside. What are your thoughts on this? Well, the exciting part here is ultimately when we have the public realm improvements the space right in front of the business that can be used for a new patio or it could be used for a pop-up street hockey right in front of the business i mean this is how you make a dynamic and active king street while moving people through the car with street cars as well carbone has a different idea of how to move people around my solution would be from 6 a.m to 10 a.m monday to friday and the rest of the time, we're open for business. In the meantime, he's open to continuing with this stunt, which he says is safe. When are they going to talk to us? It was safe. We played for an hour. We didn't, no one got hurt. No one bothered us. We didn't bother anyone. It was open, open field. So what's next? What's the next stunt we're going to see? Well, you'll have to wait and see. we will have to wait and see? Wait and see. The owners here at Kit Kat say they are not giving up and they plan to organize more street hockey games in the future. The King Street Pilot Project is slated to run for the rest of the year. In the Entertainment District, I'm Tish Bissono, City News.